Over the last five years, notably during 2020, much attention has been given to the topic of monuments of controversial historical figures and events. Of particular significance in America are monuments to Confederate figures, which, since the protests in 2020, about two dozen have been removed officially or by protesters. Although, there are still about 700 monuments still on display since January of 2022. One example is that of the Henry Watkins Allen statue in Port Allen, Louisiana, made in 1962 by Angela Gregory, which is still erect in Port Allen, Louisiana. Allen was Confederate governor of Louisiana during 1864 and 1865 after serving in the Confederate Army. He was also, unfortunately, a slave owner who gave $11,000 in 1860s money to wounded soldiers and poor women. This adds a level of nuance, maybe not quite as present in other Confederate monuments, as Allen was governor of Louisiana itself, who helped people during his time, like I mentioned before, while this statue of him is also one that was made by a woman, which is important as the field that she worked in was dominated by men, more or less. However, at the same time, it's still a Confederate monument which was erected about a hundred years after the end of the Civil War that, to echo a similar message as Mayor Mitch Landrieu, America is not two nations, it's one nation, and this especially highlights a Confederate governor of all people who served for only a year, an incredibly brief period of time in Louisiana history. And while, yes, it is important to remember history, including the unfortunate parts like the American Civil War, it's equally important not to honor the bad aspects or unfortunate aspects. Although this statue can be seen as a Confederate symbol as well as a Louisiana symbol, far more so than other Confederate monuments like the Robert E. Lee statue, among others. With all of this considered, now the question becomes what should be done about this particular statue in terms of whether it should be, be removed or should it stay in place. I'm going to say that it should be taken down. Though it could also be put into a museum, that doesn't exclude the possibility of it, though it should be removed from the public sphere. Considering the fact that this was erected about 100 years after the end of the Civil War, during the civil rights movement of all times, and when we consider the fact that this governor was only a governor for a very short period of time, then it becomes even more, more of a case that it should be taken down, particularly when also considering the fact that there are other people who could be erected, who did even better works that could be better representations of the state of Louisiana. At the same time, however, putting them in museums would enable people to be able to learn about the history of the not-so-good parts of America in a way that is genuine to the history while also not glorifying it, and moving this statue to a museum where there's a plaque that puts more into context of who he was will enable people to learn about their history in America without necessarily glorifying the bad parts of it. At the same time, putting it in a museum with a plaque could also enable the museum curators to discuss the fact that this was made by a woman, and also contribute to adding more of an inclusive sort of mentality within American history as well. Along with the civil rights movement, the feminist movement was also kicking off in the 1960s, 1970s, so it also shows a progression of American history from the Civil War even to more contemporary times within the last 60 years as well.